Okay, hello. I am back for episode four of Love by Chance. I have replaced my squishy. I got my, I've got a small collection of squishies and I decided to go for this one. It's a little tooth, uh, but it's quite old and it's already got a little bit of damage to it. So if I like mess it up while I'm like stressing, it'll, I won't be that bothered about it, you know? Um, and I'm trying to like repair the one that I literally got like a week ago so and I've completely destroyed it in my stress so I'm trying to repair that so this is the new mascot for while I'm watching stuff that I can like fiddle around with if I'm like getting stressed out I'm hoping like the worst of the the horrible stuff is over from episode 3 but we'll have to see how I go I don't want to misjudge him just because he's grumpy, but he does seem very elitist, right? Ah, so cute. I don't know. I'm still trying to work out who the four pairings on the covers are without like looking at it and spoiling it for myself. Obviously Pete and A are one of them. Also, he is okay. He's not like in the hospital with broken ribs or anything. It's kind of quiet now. Bruise Remedy Queen. <laughs> Ever since Bad Buddy, <laughs> Bruise Remedy Queen. I didn't even know it was a thing. Ouch. Very sweet. I want to know what A is thinking. Like, how aware is he? Like, does he have feelings? And does he know about them? Or is he confused? Or... Is he still like, no, we're just friends, and he doesn't realise how he's kind of coming across when he's like, being this close to Pete, you know? Like, moments like this, right? He's either got to be feeling something or he's got to be aware that it's got to be coming across to Pete like he's feeling something, you know? But we don't really know what he's feeling. Hmm. Very sweet. I really like the the dynamic. It feels very healthy, right? That A just wants to like take care of him all the time. Make sure he's okay. Very sweet. He don't have to try. He's very cute. Oh. Very sweet. I like them a lot. Very healthy. Lots of green flags. Green flags everywhere.
Oh, very sweet. It's really nice that he feels comforted just by being near him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I like them a lot. I am on the ship. No, he got spooked. Um, who knows, man? Unless you tell us, we don't got a clue. Are you good? Oh, I feel like you are feeling a little bit confused and conflicted right now. Very protective. We like to see it. เราไม่อยากรบกวนนี่ขนาดนั้นนี่ครับมึงจะรบกวนกูมากกว่าถ้ามึงทําให้กูห่วงมึงเมื่อคืนน่ะมึงเป็นสวีททําให้กูเก
It depends. The movies you like are questionable, man. Oh, actually going to the movies? Oh, that would be fine. Okay. I thought he was going to do one of his dodgy group porn sessions. Are you jealous, sir? Oh my goodness. How can you say stuff like that? Oh, the way Pete's looking at him is very sweet. Very sweet indeed. You can get a restraining order, lady. I'm just throwing it out there as an idea. Cham? I like her a lot. I like it when we see can because it means good is normally nearby. Where is good? Where is good? He's not here. Jeez. That was the second time this show that someone's nearly been hit by a car. Calm down with the cars. Who is that? Is that Alex? I forget what his actual name is. It is. What's his name? Damn, you're so rude, man. Tin, his name was Tin, right? Am I ever gonna like him in anything? <laughs> He's like a real elitist, right? <laughs> oh, I love you good, you're so great. <laughs> Can I take him home? One of these people have to be getting in a pairing, right? They get so much screen time. You did sum him up really well. I like him so much. <laughs> so who do you think is going to get with who? Good's not going to get with anyone, right? He doesn't have the energy. <laughs> It wouldn't be techno and can because 
Or it could be. Champion cam? Techno on cam? I don't know. Honestly, I've got no clue. Who are you? <laughs> so many names, so many people. Oh, you're the guy that's been spying on him. Yeah. Mm. So maybe these two will get together? Because oh. this Clara, Ken Clara guy, he does like no, right? Oh yeah, he definitely likes no. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, that's very manipulative. Very manipulative. And the brother helped him. Unbelievable. You are very tricky, sir. I don't know if I agree with you what you're doing. You're not giving off green flags at all. So maybe they're gonna thing be a thing. Techno and Pa. So maybe Champ and Cam? Although they don't give me crazy chemistry vibes, right? These guys have got green flags all over the place. They're very sweet. My drama free couple. It's very rare, right? That the main couple is the drama free couple. But they're very healthy for each other. And they're always in a good mood when they're with each other. No, it's Mr. Grouchy, okay. Tin, that's his name, Tin. Are these guys friends or are they just classmates? Hmm. Not because he's rich like you. I'm surprised. You're very grumpy. I'm not gonna lie. Why? ไม่ถึงเรื่องผิดกฎหมายอ่ะล่ะเราก็ไม่รู้อ่ะครับอย่าบอกนะว่าคนที่มีเรื่องกับคนในภาพเนี่ยคือพวกเพื่อนภาพ
he's not awful awful, he's just kind of awful. Hmm. So he does have feelings for Tom? Interesting. Yeah, Type, type gets on with Tom's younger brother, right? But doesn't really get on with Tom because Tom doesn't like Type's boyfriend, I think. Yeah. We haven't seen Type's boyfriend, right? I hope we I hope we don't see him, honestly. I don't wanna see Earth with anyone else. Is Pond being a wingman right now? Hello? I think he is! Interesting! <laughs> Very weird, yeah. Are you fishing for information? Are you jealous? I think he's a bit jealous. Interesting. Oh, he's pouty. I, I really don't get the vibe that Pond is going to be an issue, I'm not going to lie. Any time Pond has been remotely interested in anyone, he's told them straight up that they're attractive. And he's not done that with Pete, so it's fine. Hmm, very considerate of you. I guess he might think that, like, Pond invited Pete along because he's interested in Pete, right? Whereas I feel like it's the other way around and he's actually, like, trying to help, eh? Oh, very cute. Hmm. I get very good vibes from these guys. Very good vibes. Hmm. I'm looking at them on the side. <laughs> they see what's going on. Wait. Oh. It's going exactly how Pond said it would go when he tried to talk Pete into coming. He was like, you'll get to hold his hand and everything. And it was very sweet. Now. Cute, 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 cute. Very fluffy. So much fluff. I'm here for the fluff. They're both, they're both being wingmen right now. 
That is great. The other friend is doing it too. He's trying to give him alone time. Very sweet. Good friends. Mm. He's very cute. Mm. Got too much energy, man. I can't match it, honestly. Hmm. We've got some good friends. They're a little bit weird, <laughs> but they're good friends. Bye. 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 He's a little bit weird too. Hmm. Oh, he's sweet. That was a good movie date. It wasn't really a date because the friends were there, but it was basically a movie date, let's be real. That was unexpected. Is he gonna get spooked? Are you spooked, sir? You... Or is Pete gonna say he's sorry again? What? No way. Really? Really? Oh, he's not spooked. Interesting. That was very brave of you. That was very brave. Mm. I'm definitely getting Nick and Charlie vibes, right? This is very honest. I'm very proud of you, but it's very honest. Definitely can Charlie vibes. Hmm. Well, it's good that you communicate all of that to him. Rather than just run away. I feel like Pete couldn't get mad at anyone, right? No way. There's no way. That was very sweet. I can't believe you're that brave. I'm very proud of you. I'm surprised he's not gotten scared and run away.
นี่ชอบกูใช่ไหมเนอะโอกูเราเราเราไม่รู้อะครับ That's okay. He doesn't really know either. That means you guys are kind of on the same page in terms of confusion. What? Really? No, oh, the softest kiss. Really? That's some progress, right? <laughs> Jeez. I kind of like that they didn't make it so that Pete was like, "Yeah, I like you" immediately, and he was also just as confused. That that's kind of nice. It's more realistic to like what they would be feeling if they thought that they were friends and they were like, "But I kind of feel something more," you know, that they wouldn't be that certain about it to begin with. It's very sweet. It's got like a proper like first love kind of vibe. I don't know if it is their first love or not, but it definitely has that kind of innocent vibe to it. I'm very proud of you for not getting spooked, sir. You do look very confused, though. Oh, don't go away. ไอ้นี่ของน้องยิ้มใช่ป่ะครับหลานกูคงดีใจอ่ะมึงเองก็รีบกลับเลยแหละเดี๋ยวแม่มึงต้องรออีกอืมเมื่อกี้มึงคือ
pond and the coffee shop girl isn't going to be one of them. They, they might get together, I don't know, but then they weren't on the cover. We know that one of them has to be the main pairing, which is A and Pete. I remember seeing Tar on the cover because before I started watching episode one, I said, um, oh, I don't recognise Earth, or I didn't recognise Earth before because I hadn't seen until we meet again yet. So he's definitely on the cover in a pairing, but I don't know who it's with. Is it going to be with Tum? Because they definitely have feelings for each other, right? Tum, Tum has expressed this, kind of. Or at least it's kind of obvious. And then we had a, a scene from Tar in this episode where we saw that it's likely that he has feelings too. Because he said it would be easier if Tum wasn't his brother. And there was an MDL tag for step-sibling love. So they could be step-siblings. But would they end up together if they're step-siblings? Would they be in a pairing? Or would it just be that they really like each other? But they end up with someone else? What about this photo here? What if Type breaks up with his boyfriend and gets with R? That would be problematic, right? Tom... Was a bit weird with type because Tom doesn't like type's boyfriend. We never found out why, but Tom doesn't like type's boyfriend, so it was kind of implied that he wasn't going to get along with type. But type gets on with Ta, Tom's younger brother. And then type said to Tom. You should tell your younger brother that you love him or something like that, or you miss him, or something like that. Which implies that he either knows that Tum has feelings for Tar, or Tar has feelings for Tum. Because he also messaged Tar something about have it, living your life with no regrets. The type, I think, knows something's going on between those two, that they might have feelings for each other. But whether or not they would actually be a pairing, I don't know. It depends how problematic the sibling thing is. Like, it could just be that they can't do anything about it, right? So they have to get with other people? I don't know. But he is definitely on the cover with someone. Earth, this Earth, is definitely not on the cover with someone because I would have recognised his face immediately. So... Who else is left? Who do we have? Okay, let's simplify it. Let's say that Tom gets with Tar, just so that we can get them out of the way. Oh, we have a manipulative dude. I just call him that because he's doing some really problematic shit right now. Um, uh, Kla, is that his name? Him and the captain. No, Techno. Um, they could be a pairing, right? Because... The car guy is definitely interested. For sure. Um, so we could say that's an... So that would be three, but that would still leave a fourth one, right? Who is left? We've run out of characters, have we not? Oh no, we do have, okay, we have, so Champ and Can, I guess, but they don't really give off chemistry vibes, I'm not going to lie. If it's them, they're really going to have to work on that. I can't imagine good getting with anyone. He's, he's just in a world of his own. I'm not going to lie. I can't imagine that happening. I feel like someone would hit on him and he'd just be like, huh? He would, he would just be clueless. So it's got to be champ and can, I guess. Although I'm not crazy excited about that idea. Maybe it's because 
Champ hasn't gotten much screen time, but Can definitely has. He's gotten some screen time. I don't know. I've, I'm very much at a loss with the pairings, and I don't want to look it up and, and spoil it, because it's going to be a, a fun surprise, I think. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a mystery. So... We had some really sweet moments. We had like a triple kiss in the car. We had the nice movie scene. At the beginning of the episode, we had um, A taking care of Pete um, after the attack and everything. And then saying he's going to protect him all the time. Very sweet. Very, very nice behavior. And then you had Pond and... Oh, what's the other guy's name? Ping? Um kind of setting up this like movie date for them and then leaving them alone and stuff which was really nice to see as well there's some very weird friends in this show but they all seem to be quite good friends they're not like diao from cutie pie levels of sweet or like long tay from thousand stars level of wholesome um but they're, they're they're good friends for sure and then yeah pete is trying to track down uh the bully guy through the prince of ice <laughs> Tin. I think that's a great name for him, honestly. Um, trying to track the bully guy down. I don't know what he intends to do about it, but I don't know. I'm concerned for him. But all in all, that was a very fluffy episode again, right? We had a bit of stress at the end of episode three, and then ever since then, it's just been quite nice and fluffy and uplifting. It's been great. I like to see it. So I think I have to stop here for the night because it's only 11.30 and I can stay up late tonight but I can't really be watching this like late into the night because if I get like excited and I start talking loudly I'm just going to wake people up which wouldn't be great. So I'm probably going to pick it back up again tomorrow while I'm waiting for vice versa to come out. I'm really enjoying it. Way more than I thought I would. I started watching this because I know someone wanted me to, to watch it but it probably wouldn't have been my next pick. Um, but it's really nice. I really like it. So much fluff. Very happy. Very sweet cinnamon roll main character. Very likeable. Kind of relatable. Because he just says sorry all the time and has low self-esteem. And thinks everyone hates him and he's a burden to everyone. I relate very much to that. But he's very sweet thing is with multiple couples there is the chance that like someone won't get a happy ending right like if you've got four pairings i'm guessing there's four pairings because there were like four pictures on the cover i feel like you could still have like one couple not have a good ending and the other three would and people would still call it fluffy right so i have to be careful not to get too attached to anyone Except Pete, because he's super cute and fluffy and he needs protecting at all costs. He is the ultimate cinnamon roll. Very, very sweet. But yeah, I'll pick episode 5 up tomorrow and we'll we'll go from there. I'm very excited to continue with the fluff. Right, that is it for now. Bye!